our viewers in the United States and around the world, welcome back to your world today. Political storm clouds in sunny California this week. A right-wing political activist established a website targeting what he says are radical professors at the University of California in Los Angeles, UCLA. The professors have howled foul. Andrew Jones' website names what he calls the Dirty 30 professors who criticize politicians like President George W. Bush, support affirmative action, or anti-war activities. Andrew Brown said he wouldn't come on our air and do a debate with one of the professors, but he told us earlier what he was trying to do. Well, what we're really trying to do is to bring things at UCLA back to a more uh, respectful level as far as the political discourse. And that, when I was a student, and is still a problem, and, and when I was a UCLA student, and uh, since then, I've been continuing to talk to UCLA students, that continues to be a problem as far as political discourse on campus. Now, to many, Andrew, it really looks like what you're trying to do is to smear people whose political views you don't agree with. That's and really I certainly, like. I certainly understand that that looks like to a certain number of people. To a lot of other people, it looks like about time we go ahead and expose these people who indoctrinate people in the classroom. Expose people who indoctrinate others in the classroom. Let's bring in one of the professors that is on that list, the Dirty 30 that was compiled uh, by Mr. Jones. Uh, this uh, is Professor Mark Sawyer. He's a professor of political science at UCLA in the Center for African American Studies. It's true, isn't it? There's an awful lot of liberal professors at UCLA. There's some liberals, there's some conservatives. We're in the marketplace of ideas, and we need to have freedom to discuss a lot of controversial topics. That's the way we do our job the best. Sure. But you don't have uh, conservative professors leading students out of the classroom in anti-war protests or protests against affirmative action rulings. Uh, yes, you do, actually. One of my colleagues has been very involved in anti-affirmative action, and I respect his ability to participate in that. It's part of the marketplace of ideas. What do you think that uh, Mr. Jones is trying to do here? Has there been a, a chill cast? He's had to retreat. He's lost some of his supporters. People just uh, disavowed him. He, he had a $100 uh, reward there for students to turn you, the professors, in, take notes out of your class, make tape recordings. He's had to retreat on that one. But what's he trying to do? What Mr. Jones wants to do is he wants to label people and cut off debate. The university needs to be a place where there's free debate, where all kinds of ideas, interesting, new, uh, come to light. The, some of the professors he attacks are some of the most decorated professors on campus. They're top-level researchers in their fields, and they're the kinds of people that students need to hear from, and we need to do our job the best we can, and we need to be open and free when doing that. You know, this is a story that has garnered headlines. It was in the China People's Daily. It was in the Hindu Times in India. It's been in the newspapers all across Europe about going after liberal professors. And it led me to ask a question. And we got into a rather heated debate last night when I uh, interviewed uh, Mr. Jones. I want to play you out a part of this. A and Professor, I want you to listen to this. OK, thanks. Andrew, isn't this just a stunt, like the, the affirmative action bake sale where you were selling cookies for 25 cents to, to minority black women, same cookies you charge a dollar or two to white students or Asian students? Just a publicity it, stunt for you that to grandize yourself? That, that was pointing out the absurdity of affirmative action. And isn't you this can this certainly characterize it any way you want. Isn't this to point out the absurdity uh, of what you see a, as professors who are being paid state money a, and they hold views that are different than yours? No, it's to point out the fact that the professors who are being paid state money, as you say, you make that point, which is very cogent, but that they're presenting only one side of the classroom. All right, the man that invented the Dirty 30. Uh, one side, is that what's getting out at UCLA? No, I, my lectures are interesting and provocative. I, I teach uh, as Clarence Thomas as well as Huey Newton. I mean, I, I go through a range of things. What Mr. Jones wants to do is get a lot of attention. I was initially amused by the profile, and then once it gets all the way to the international news and it connects with people who want to limit academic freedom, it then becomes very serious. Uh, and we don't need to label people on campus. We just need to be a place where a free marketplace of ideas. Professor Mark Sawyer wants to keep the university a marketplace of free ideas. I want to thank you very much uh, for thank coming you, here.